Greetings out there in YouTube land. Welcome to my channel. I'm Morris Man. And for the last couple of days, I've been, I guess, cleaning out or going through my storage Philly lock and looking at some of the songs books I have. And there are quite a few in there. And there's some that I can part with. And mainly the reason why I'm parting with most of the books that I've been posting recently is uh, I got duplicates. Because, again, when I like some of my bad and duplicates, uh, they're hard to find. They're out of print. And when you go on eBay any given day, if you can find them, they're about a hundred dollars, you know. And initially, people say, well, "Why people spend that kind of money on some books? Because they out of print." And you want to make sure what you're playing is right, you know. Because I got a pretty good ear, but you know, if I had a choice between just trying to listen to it by ear, and I got the sheet music, I'm going with the sheet music because that's what you do, you know. And it's interesting uh, on my channel. I get into this. I won't say I get into it because I want no part of this debate. The theory heads, you know, they want to technically, uh, you should play this chord instead of that chord. The video's already been posted. I'm not going to change the way that I play. Guess what? That's how you play it. This is how I play it. And it's interesting how people haven't figured that out. They've been playing for years. That two, no two guys play the same. So don't want to, so don't push your ideas or chord theories or, you know, assumptions on another person because they could care less. Because again, I tell people, don't send me these chords because what am I doing with them? I've already done the video on the cover. I'm not going to redo it and play it your way. So you're wasting your time by posting this mess. You know, but there's some people that they don't understand that. And that's why I just had to make that statement. It's by no means I'm on a tirade, but it just makes no sense to me. You know, uh, I look at guys play stuff that I play and they play it differently. I just basically give them a thumbs up, say, hey, great job. It's still an awkward. I play this chord, it's still that chord. No one cares, you know. That constructive criticism nonsense is just keep it to yourself. Don't, I mean, unless uh, this is going to save somebody's life, then maybe you want to open your mouth. But no one really cares about your opinion about this is how you play it. Therefore, you should play it like me. It's just ridiculous. But sorry for digressing. But I had to just make that statement because I still get this. Got one two days ago. You should play A plus five chord. I'm playing guitar. You know, those types of chords are for, for piano. You know, you kind of sometimes have to make your own arrangements and, and uh, do some slightly uh, alterations or modifications on the chords that are being played. Because, of course, the way that a guy plays piano is totally different from the way that a guy plays guitar. Keep that in mind. But I'm sorry, again, for digressing. Let me get to the point. Uh, this is a book that everybody wants. And every time I post a cover on this guy, this legend, uh, I get a lot of views because everybody wants to know how these musicians you know map out their chords into these songs and this is the Bar Mali and the Whalers sell song book and this is really rare it's hard to find Bar Mali stuff you know I paid I think about 95 bucks for this book and it's worth every penny and uh, I let you guys have it for 40 bucks plus three dollars shipping so that's 44 dollars and I'm gonna read you the song books and again i didn't bring my glasses africa unite coming in coming in from the cold could you be loved exodus one of my favorites forever long forever loving ja is this love jamming i think stevie wonder did a cover of uh bob marley's song jamming i first thought that stevie wonder did it but i think stevie wonder did cover no woman no cry positive vibrations Roots, rock, reggae, running away, so much trouble, a.k.a. so much trouble in the world. Survival, waiting in vain, my favorite song. Wake up and live, war. So there you have it. Bar Marley. $40, $3 shipping in Highland. I'm going to actually just do these two in this video. And whoever buys these books, I just put down here as an update sold. So when you look really look at the subject line and everything to see if it's still available since I got three books up here. Well, normally I have one, I just take the video down, but since it's going to be three, unless someone buys all three at the same time, which I seriously doubt, because the, the, the taste is varied. You know, like me, I play everything and wanted to play everything. Uh, this was very hard to find, too. We actually used to sing this song in our grammar school assembly. Johnny Cash, Johnny Nash, I can see clearly now. Let me read it off for you. I can see clearly now. Stir, stir it up. Which is actually, I think, written by Bar Marley. Guava jelly. It's so nice while it lasted. 
That's the way we get by. You poured sugar on me. Comma, comma. We're all alike. Oh, baby, you've you've been good to me. There are questions that ask. There are questions. There are more questions than answers. How good is this? So this would be 20 bucks, $3 shipping and handling. And this one here, and this is extremely rare. I mean, this book is in excellent condition. Actually, it's like brand new condition. I only thumbed through it a few times because uh, the majority, and I'm sure you're the artist in a minute, the majority of this artist stuff is piano based. You know, uh, I don't really hear any guitar, but even though if you don't hear guitar, you can play the guitar, the keyboard chords to the, on the guitar, you know, and uh, basically my keyboard player glanced at it and, and, and liked it. But uh, it's Whitney Houston. Greatest hits. Or the essential Whitney Houston. All at once, I will always love you. So emotional. I want to dance with somebody who loved me. Didn't he almost, didn't we almost have it all? Thinking about you. How will I know? Where do broken hearts go? Take care of my heart. You give good love. This book is just, just oozing great songs. This, the greatest hits. It's a beautiful cover, too. And the material is just it's beautiful. Beautiful picture of a beautiful woman. Rest in peace, Whitney. We miss you. So this one to go for 30 plus $3 shipping and handling. This is hard to find. You know, when you find this, keep it. Grab it and hold on to it. You know, but again, uh, I got so much stuff that I have to kind of liquidate. Because uh, I'm not a pack rat. I don't like trying to keep everything and running out of room. You know, so again, uh, those are the books for sale. PayPal information is right there. Once you purchase a book in this particular video, because, again, I don't think no one's going to buy all three of them, one person. So uh, I'll update it as the day go on. If somebody, you know, quickly grab it, Whitney Houston, I'll put down here in the subject line, Whitney Houston book. So if somebody wants a Johnny Nash book, you know, I put that down there, too. So, again, uh, you won't be confused. Say, which, are these still available? You know, when you look at the video, you'll see in the subject line the update to see if it's still available. So, on that note, I'm going to sign off. Uh, again, PayPal information right there. This be, these will be shipped out next day. Priority shipping. United States Postal. Uh, priority mail, four days. It show up at your house. Uh, you get tracking information so you can track the package to say, okay, uh, somebody be around on Wednesday or the mailman will just put it in the box. You know, so uh, on that note, I'm going to sign off. Until next time, take care and thanks for watching.